Hey everybody, D Rock here, and uh, I'm super excited because we now have uh, the Reason Rack plugin as an A as an AAX version to be used inside of inside of um, Pro Tools, and I'm stoked for it. Uh, if you don't know, I spend uh, I spend all, most of my days inside of inside of uh, what's called Pro Tools uh, for work. Uh, but I come home and I play with uh, uh, re reason creatively to make music. So being able to merge those those two worlds pretty seamlessly is awesome. Um, if you don't know, uh, all you have to do is um, open up Reason, and then up at the top you'll have um, um, install the new update. I think it's eleven point three, and just hit install. It's gonna install the um, the uh, the Pro Tools version AAX plugin for you. Uh, and then all you gotta do is go to plugin Reason Studios and load it up. Um, they did a great, they did a really, really, really great job with this. They um, they made it so that it's mono or stereo, which there's a few plugin companies that haven't done that. So like, if I wanted to throw it, like I've got an instance here on this um, snare on the snare top microphone, um, where I would have to bust it around a little bit or figure out some way to convert the track to a stereo track. In order to use the effect that I wanted with Reason, you're just able just to load it right up and it works seamlessly. Um, a couple of things that I did notice about it that I think are kind of cool. Um, the well, a the settings menu is sleek and new, has like a sleek new new look to it, which I like. First thing I did was take off load load default sounds because uh, I make pretty much all my sounds from um, scratch. Um, the MIDI routing capabilities in here is great because like, for example, right here, I've got an instance, I see, I don't need that. I've got an instance of a uh, Europa. And, um, what I can do is I've got a, a MIDI track here, even though this is on a, on an audio track, um, I've got it sending out to that Vox, um, that Vox audio track, uh, reason rack plugin. So you can route MIDI all around um, in order to trigger things that, like, if it's on an audio track and you want to trigger, let's say, Neptune uh, to do like a vocal synth thing, uh, you can have you can have the Reason Rack plugin on that vocal track, load up load up Neptune, load up a MIDI track as well, and then just set uh, the then set the output to find that Reason Rack plugin. Um, I did notice. Uh, if you're a big if you're a big presets person, it will not allow you to import presets that have um, that have uh, um, VSTs nested in them from the full version of uh, Reason. So like Bendy Roar, for example, that has an instance of a uh, serum in it, and it gives you this it gives you this error message, which totally un it's totally understandable. Um, I think it'd be I'm not even sure how you would be able to incorporate VSTs within the Rack plugin. Uh, even though Pro Tools does AAX and stuff like that. Um, let's see, anyways, uh, you you do get though all of your various rack rack extensions. So I got like my four dyne, the uh, all the um, all the decam stuff, Faturator, and the and the Kilohertz stuff. Um, I'm super stoked that I can use the Synapse reverb in here because this is probably my favorite reverb to use. It's just easy and simple and just works. Um, it also has a sidechain input. Or I guess in Pro Tools they call it a a key input, but then that input shows up right over here. So then you can route stuff around. I actually wanted to try something with that. So I've got um, let's see here. I've got on my drum plate. I've got um, an instance of the Synapse stuff. So let's 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 experiment a little bit and see what I can do here. Let me make a little, let me loop something. Jousting Reverb. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a compressor. And I'm going to have the kick drum duck the reverb. Um, go. Uh, oh, yeah. So tab does not work unless you're selected inside of there otherwise tab defaults to to back to back to pro tool so you might be tabbing to like to like transient or something like that uh once you are once you click with inside the rack plugin then it does work otherwise you do have the flip rack option 
Uh, so, okay, let's uh, take this, that down there to the side chain in. And then let's um, set the key input to, I think I've got kick key here. And then I'll take that, I'll put it on my kick bus, bus kick key. We'll send it Unity and we'll see if this works. So I actually haven't, I have not tried this yet. Yeah, so my kick drum is now ducking that that uh, re re reverb for me. It actually might might make more sense to put it on a snare on the snare instead. Yeah, that totally works. There's way too much reverb on there, but um, can I turn that down maybe? Let's see, Let's do a little mix of this. Maybe a hair of pre delay. Sweet, yeah. So, yeah, like the the key the key input works really really well. Um, you can also do you, like you can also do some cool some cool like MIDI routing stuff. So, oh, I have I have not tried this yet. Okay, so I got my drum bus here. I got the Reason Rack plugin on here. I'm gonna get rid of uh, Scream already, and then I'm gonna throw on um, Neptune. That's kind of fun. I've never actually messed with that before. But anyways, what I want to do is I want to use the vocal synth now. So I've got a MIDI track here, and then I'm going to send that to, let's see, drum bus channel one. And then I hit play. That's kind of cool. I'm going to get rid of the pitch signal so that I'm only hearing the voice synth signal, even though it's going through drums. That might be kind of interesting. I don't know. I could probably find some 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 fun way to you to uh, to uh, you use that. I've been a big fan of uh, Neptune recently, so being able to use it within the Pro Tools work environment is wicked awesome. Um, oh, geez, let's see. I'm gonna put Scream back on here for the for this mix. Um, tame it down. <laughs> Plus being able to just have Scream in here, like Scream is one of my favorite, has been one of my favorite dis, um, um, distortion units forever. Like I've used, I've been using Reason for 12 years now. I've been using Pro Tools for the same amount, for the same amount of, um, of, um, of um, time. Being able to have Scream inside Pro Tools is killer. Like I'm going to put Scream on everything now. It's, 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 uh, it's great. Um, yeah, yeah. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit excited about this. Uh, but yeah, that's um, that's kind of my first Im my first impressions of the Reason Rack um, um, AAX plugin inside of Pro Tools. Uh, I see a lot of really. I I think the biggest thing for me with this is that for me, Reason is such a creative environment, and then um, Pro Tools is way more sterile and like, uh, I guess more scientific if if you will and being able to merge those those like those like two worlds in such a seamless manner within the rack plugin is super killer so i this is going to be incorporated in in into my workflow from here on out definitely um and if you are a pro tools user definitely consider uh, pip, um, um, picking up reason. They've got some phenomenal, some like phenomenal instruments, effects, and all that stuff. It's it's all really really great. Um, and then you can use that use that creative that creative engine inside of um Pro Tools. It's, it's awesome. So yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concern, you can shoot a comment down below. Uh, otherwise, pick this up because it's super cool. Um, and I will catch you on the flippity flop.